This is Riley from Robots Everywhere and I'm here to show you how to modify a high-tech HS55 servo for continuous rotation. This way it can be used as a pretty much like a motor where the servo pulse controls the speed. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to remove the top screw holding the actuator on like so. Then you want to take these four bottom screws you don't actually have to remove these because we're only taking the top plate off. There's no electrical modification we need to do here. So, we loosen these up until they're out of the top piece. I would advise using a smaller screwdriver than the one I'm using, but this can be done with anything about up to this size. Close out, pop the top, and you'll see two things here. You'll see some gears, and you have this part. Now this part here, if you look closely, there's a little flange right there. That needs to go, because that's stopping the rotation of the servo like in the other instructable we did. So, you want to take your knife and just cut that away. There we go. Next, you want to make sure that's actually been cut reasonably cleanly because if it hasn't, that's going to affect the rotation of the servo. You can either, if it's not that clean, you can either run the servo or you can use an emery board or other sanding stuff to sand it back down. Next thing we want to do is we want to take this top gear off. Now you see how this axle has a little groove in it here. That's to prevent that gear from rotating when this other gear here turns. See, this can turn freely the top one up there can't. That's got to change too. So here we take a small drill. You can buy these at most uh, industrial parts stores. I got this at Dofasco which is a, a Canadian place. And with the drilling done all we have to do is reassemble the servo. We put this back where it came from, put the top piece back on, tighten these screws. My screwdriver has apparently been borrowed. There we go. Eh, lab life works like that. The nearest tool is always something someone else is using. So, when you get these screws back on, you put the actuator back on. this